Oh my god, this was this was a tiring video to make. I'll be honest, boys. This took a lot of effort. Um, just getting the clips together, figuring out what worked, putting it all together in this video took a lot of time. Um, I forgot how long tutorials take to make and how difficult they are. But anyways, um, today's video is a shooting tutorial, but it's like also a how to score tutorial. So it involves some aspects of like passing as well to create some chances. It says pretty detailed. I feel like I cover a lot of stuff here, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helps you guys out because I know a lot of you are struggling to score. There's a little bit of overlap with the gameplay tips video that I released a few days ago. So if you watched that already, apologies, there will be slight overlap. But anyways, let's head on into the video. Make sure to like if this does help because it took a lot of effort indeed. Let's go. So to start off, if it's a FIFA 22 shooting tutorial and it doesn't start off with finesse shots, well then, what tutorial are you watching, bro? Because you're not watching this one. We're going to cover finesses straight off the bat, get them out of the way, because I'm pretty sure most people by now know that they are the meta when it comes to scoring. Most people, however, don't know that one, you can finesse inside the box and it still works because people only seem to do it from outside the box, but inside it's pretty decent for tidy finishes as well number two you don't have to green them number three finesse shot tray is quite important if you're going for the long shots and you're not greening them finesse shot trait can like carry that a lot and bail you out if you don't green time them and for if you do green time them you don't need high shooting so if you have somebody with like 70 shooting and you end up actually green timing a long shot finesse shot it tends to be on target and goes on a lot of the time so keep that in mind. So if you have somebody like Messi, you don't need to green time them. Although you can and then shoot from ridiculous angles. If you have somebody, I don't know, like say a Carrasco, for example. And he, he, well, he has decent shooting. Let, let's go even lower. Let's say like St. Maxim. Okay. So he is even worse shooting. Kind of 70s. If you green time that, you are chilling. That will be a really effective shot. Now, it, even somebody like Havertz, he's decent shooting. Not crazy like Messi. But he scores finesses without them being green timed quite easily because of that finesse shot trait. So keep that one in mind. It's going to be a very important trait this year. Next up, we're going to talk about chip shots. Now, if you guys played last year, FIFA 21, chip shots were really effective. Anytime you really got true, you could chip the goalkeeper with ease. It would nearly always go in. They would rarely get caught, etc. This year, a little different. First of all, you need to power them up way more. Because if you just do the little power that you were in last year, they barely go off the ground. Easy save. You do medium amount of power at range. They go like just kind of here, high up the goalkeeper, so they just catch the ball. Easy. So you need a good bit of power and to take them from range. And they will go in. But in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, I would not recommend doing them. If there's a, a decent chance you can just round the goalkeeper instead. That is way more consistent. Speaking of rounding the goalkeeper, if you do want to round the goalkeeper, you can either ball roll, sure it's well, but not as good as last year, or what I'm starting using this year a lot more is fake shotting around the goalkeeper slash scoop turning. I feel like that's just a bit more effective. So basically you would run at the goalkeeper just before they get to you, you fake shot either to the left or the right, and they'll like dive and you'll go past them. Open goal, shoot, easy easy next up let's talk about time finishing i was thinking about doing a whole video on it but then i was thinking you know what it's not really all that complicated so let's keep it in this little segment here so essentially when it comes to time finishing it's straightforward enough okay you shoot like you normally would shoot let's say you're doing a finesse shot you're popping the r1 you press b or circle rb and b or r1 and circle Finesse shot's about to happen, right? Easy. But you gotta look at your player, okay? He's gonna be moving his leg towards the ball for the shot. Half a second before he makes contact with the ball for the shot, you simply press the shoot button, aka B or circle, if you're on default settings. Again, just by itself. So if you finesse R1 circle, say, you don't have to do R1 circle to time it. You only have to press circle again okay so whatever shot you do you to time it you only have to press the shoot button by itself but so just before the contact is made with the ball you press it again and it'll be a green time shot 
if it goes like a gray light, that means you hit it too late. Now too late has no negative penalty at all. So if you're kind of cautious about time finishing and kind of starting off, you want to do it later rather than earlier. Because you got two different types of early. You got very early, which would be a red time finish, and they basically slice the ball. But then also you got a yellow time finish. Now this is slightly early. It does add error to the shot and is worse than a late or regular shot. As a, if you remember, a late and a regular shot are actually the same. But obviously not as good as a green timed. So... If you go for the later shot and you either get green or you get late, that's the best case scenario. Because if you just hadn't timed at all, then you would just be getting that late anyways. So keep that in mind. Just remember, you can practice it on the arena, but basically just do whatever type of shot you're doing like normal. But then just before your player makes contact with the ball, you just simply press the shoot button again. and be timed green and bang. Easy. Once you get used to it. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. Where it becomes difficult is like if you're like off balance or you take a heavy touch and it's kind of hard to time when they're actually going to hit the ball. That can be difficult. But if you guys start off with finesses, the finesse shot animation is pretty much the same consistently with every player from every angle essentially. So you'll get used to shooting that with a rhythm and you'll actually do it from almost instinct than looking at the timer because the animation stays pretty much the same regular shots and low drivens headers volleys etc they do vary and those you have to use your eye each time to verify when to hit that shot button again to make it green next we have a long shots now long shots i love and hate that they're back okay i'm a long shot merchant at heart you know back in fifa 18 when i really got on the pro scene I was, I was that guy. I, I loved my long shots. I would bang them in like nobody. Because most people didn't even take them. And I would just hit them. Boom. Easy goal. Now you'll see the two clips here. We have one with Messi. Where I green time it. It's a banger. Of course, Messi green. That's going to go in. But then the second clip, we're using Sandro, the left back. Shooting a similar long shot from pretty much the same position. Except he has terrible shooting and I don't green time it. You'll notice I score both. So kind of this is just to show that really you don't need crazy good shooting stats to score these long shots. You just kind of need to get the position that I'm in in, in both these clips um, and then shoot long shots across goal. And you'll you really be surprised how much they go in. I say if you go into a game now, just, just try them. Try it. Okay. And oof. the the key really is to make sure it doesn't get blocked by a defender because goalkeepers aren't getting to these. So the real trick is creating that space to get a shot off with no defender blocking it. But if you can manage to do that and you have somebody with even like 75 long shots, 75 shot power, it has a really good chance going in. Now, if you can also green these, it's even better. But like I showed in Sandro clip, that was the first long shot I attempted with Sandro. Didn't time it. And I scored. It's not like I did this 20 times. So keep that in mind. They are very scorable this year. Kind of easier to score than being in the six yard box against these guard goalkeepers. They're incredible inside the box. But at long shots, whether it's finesse or just regular long shots, they do struggle. So every now and then, just, just hit one. Give it a go. You'll be surprised how accurate they are. Now let's talk about scoring in the box and like finishing because this is I think everybody's number one issue at the moment because you know, you're in the box, turn the defender, you shoot, boom, just saved somehow. Like what? What? And you're just left there deflated. You're like, what do I need to do to score? So let's go over a few little things. First thing is let's get open for that shot. So you either want to just kind of left stick dribble stay with a defender then pass it to your other striker shoot first time that works pretty well because the goalkeeper would be like at the wrong side of the goal if that makes sense so it's cool secondly which i'll show in these clips is you can do just basic skill moves we're using habits i just sell one guy with a drag back and then just bang it high power is very important as well for these finishes um if you can land that and just bang it in easy goal I think it's a lot of time better shooting near post this year than far post. That's just kind of what I've noticed when it comes to specifically finishing. But other than that, there's not too much to it. If you're really struggling, 
and if that pass or cross is ever available always take it but if it's not i would shoot near post rather than a cross goal because really a cross goal is difficult also you'll see with this goalkeeper movement kind of clip that i have i just get true but i just wait and when you're like so clear and if they're not rushing out their goalkeeper because realistically people do two things they either rush out their goalkeeper or they wait for you to get close and then they move your goalkeeper across anticipating that cross goal shot but if you are so clear ahead you can kind of slow down if they bring out the goalkeeper you do fake shot or ball roll pass them like we covered earlier but if they move the goalkeeper to the side you just shoot near post and score that way pretty straightforward obviously this requires a lot of composure but once you know what to do and when to do it with enough practice it becomes quite easy we got the kind of byline pass thing it's basically sweating it across but you want to dribble like you know bite it literally the line where it goes out for like goal kick corner dribble up that bait in the goalkeeper and the defender pass it across tap it into an open net pretty easy i've got a lot of like videos here clips of me just like scoring and whatnot there's not a whole lot to it you just gotta wait until you see an unmarked unmarked pass because obviously if you do it while the pass is marked that's not gonna work so you just kind of have to be patient find the exact time to make that pass when it is a clear pass utilize driven passes as well so that it goes straight through without getting intercepted that's r1 x passes on playstation or rba passes on xbox Hope this helps. Score some goals. Easy. Last but not least, let's talk about the kind of true ball chance creation. I covered this really in the gameplay tips, but we'll cover it quickly again. Essentially, the number one thing you need to know is play a player true. Whether you trigger that run yourself with L1 or LB on Xbox. Whether you play a lock a run true. Okay. Or you do an L1X slash lba pass to get that player on it whatever you do okay figure that out yourself but for that pass you hold down l1 on playstation or lb on xbox and then double tap that triangle on playstation or double tap y on xbox and get that pinpoint pass to your striker for an easy goal also p thing in the game hands down i don't maybe maybe long shots long shots kind of crazy for now but that that pass is scandalous it's scandalous you're in one-on-one -on -one and you've watched the rest of this video so you know what to do when you're one-on-one -on -one. and now you've scored and you've scored again and now it's 3-0 now they've rage quit and you're wondering what to do now that you win every fifa game like i'm sorry to have burdened you with this ability to just win every single game but you know it's, it's just what i do it's what i do anyways guys that brings us to the end of the video Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I'm streaming daily on Twitch. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the morning. Then 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night. All UK and Ireland times. But anyways, I'm off. Goodbye. Enjoy your day. Yo, hmm. I ain't here for the